For the fifth time in eight seasons, the Cats have started the season at 4-0, and we are starting another season of the Matthew Mitchell Show. Christy Thomas alongside the coach, and it's hard to believe this is our eighth season, but it's, it's a good one. It's been great, and the fans really have made it so special for, for you and me, Christy. And as long as they keep watching, we'll keep putting the show on, and we just appreciate everybody watching the show each and every year, and I think it'll be a good show this year. going to be a great time, and you all are off to a hot start. You got a big one in November over 8th-ranked Baylor. Tell us about that one. We did. It was a great way to start off the season, second game of the season. Christy didn't know exactly what we'd be able to do. Uh, got behind early, uh, but the second half was a, a, a really different situation for us. We were down 14 early and just kept calling back. You just saw... Janae hit a big three, and, and there's Kevin Gooden Rogers, a freshman, playing for us. That was a huge play in the game. She and Jen in the pick and roll. And then this was a big bucket. All of them are big when you're down 14. <laughs> right. So, Asia Bishop with a nice left handed hook. She's added that to her game, and really a great job. But we really cranked up the defense and were able to, to get some stops and then hit some timely shots. That was Bria's first field goal of the game, another big three. And then this one, Jen had missed 10 in a row, and now she hit that one right there to go one for 11. But that really gave us a four point margin uh, there at the end, and we're able to. Uh, seal the victory 74 64 at the free throw line. So, really, really proud and pleased with that win and uh, showed a lot of toughness early in the season. Great come from behind win for the Cats. Well, three freshmen who are part of yet another top recruiting class for the Cats are well into their first year in the blue and white. The next few weeks, coach will introduce you to all of them, starting with this Wildcat who's in range when she walks in the gym. 30 second shot clock. Welcome in, everybody. I'm Coach Mitchell, and I am so pleased to introduce you to one of our freshmen here this year at Kentucky from Gainesboro, Tennessee, JC Cope. JC, how are you doing? Good. Really we are good. so happy you're here mm -hmm. and you're off to a good start. Are you having a good time at Kentucky? Yes, I love it. That's fantastic. Well, JC, you came from a great high school program and you were able to accomplish a lot there. What was it like to win the state championship? It was an unbelievable feeling. Since I've been little, I've been wanting to win the state championship. So, got that done, right? Yes. And uh, miss basketball to go with it. Yes, sir. So that that a lot of hard work had to go into that, right? Yes. Okay. A lot. So tell us a little bit about your family. I have two brothers, one younger, one older. So I'm the middle child. There you go. And uh, my mom, she played college basketball at Eastern Kentucky. And Just I, down the road. Yes. And my dad played at Sanford. So. Yeah. So you uh, have some good, good bloodlines there for basketball, right? Mm -hmm. Good players. Your mom and dad are. So now I want. I was asking you a little bit earlier. Tell me about an interesting vacation you've been on. I actually drove to Maine. What in the world were you <laughs> driving to Maine for, JC? Um, we just decided to take a family road trip to Maine. Was it fun? Yes, it was. Is it beautiful? Yes. Did you get any lobster? Yes, and I hate lobster. Really? But did yeah. you like it in Maine? Yes, I loved it. Well, there you go. So you are uh, somewhat adventurous yes. in the Cole family. Yes. Sort of like the Griswolds. <laughs> just loaded up and went on a vacation. So there you go. Well, JC's doing a great job. We're so glad she's at Kentucky. Looking forward to a great career from her. She's JC Coe. I'm Coach Mitchell. That's the 30 second shot clock. JC was a little behind the eight ball, had a concussion early on when you started practice. Yeah, that was a tough uh, car wreck she was in, but she's bounced back nicely. Fell a little behind, but she's working her way back into it. And uh, we expect big things for her before she leaves Kentucky. No question. Well, coming up, young niche has moved on to bigger yeah, and better things, but two new stars are born on this Three year's years. Guitar Tip of the Week. There's That's a next. lineup change. The Matthew Mitchell Show is brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Dan, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger. Over oh, eight. I missed. Whoa! Come in, everybody! It's the first edition of the eighth season of Guitar Tip of the Week. I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, and this is a monumental edition of the tip for the first time in two years or how long is it three years how long was the young one on two years three years, three years. 
this is another thing we're going to start doing, and we're going to start looking off camera and talking. That's what all big-time television shows do. You look off camera. So I'm looking to the producer here. How long? How many years we have, Nishon? We'll say three years. Two or three years. So for the first time, you guys stop talking so much now. The first time in three years, there's a lineup change on the guitar tip of the week. And I'm pleased to introduce to you the dynamic duo from the Marion County Mafia. It's Cliven Gooden Rogers and Michaela Epps. How are you? Hey, is Cliven down there? Okay. How's it going? Great. It's going great, Coach. Thank you, Epps, for a little energy. You're welcome. Cliven, I'm not so sure about you. Are you awake? I'm awake. Okay, all right. Now, what do you two really know about playing the guitar? I have a guitar, but don't know how to play it at all. Oh, you'll fit right in. That's perfect. You are, you are perfect for the guitar tip of the week. How about you, Cliven? Strings make noise. <laughs> the strings make noise? Is that what you said? Well, let me, would you like to hear this? Is that noise? Mm -hmm. So the strings make noise. So that's what you know about the guitar, right? What, what is beside you there? Why don't you have a guitar? This is a problem, Kyvin. You don't have a guitar. Where's your guitar? I don't know how to play it. Well, yeah, how can you be on guitar tip of the What are we going to do about a guitar? We need another guitar, guys, if we're going to make this work. I'll keep practicing. I'll do, bring in a guitar next time. How, where are you going to get it from? From my papa. Does papa, your papa's got a guitar? Yep. Does papa know how to play the guitar? Absolutely not. Well, then maybe we should get papa on the guitar tip of the week. Well, let me tell you how this is going to go, folks. Every single week... We're going to come in here and have a lot of fun and bring a lot of joy into your family, into your life. You guys see the uh, Facebook page there on your screen? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Uh, <laughs> what we're going to do is you write in that Facebook page, and you're going to get shout-outs, and we're going to give you shout-outs. You're going to get hear your name, and then show them the T-shirts, ladies. Then if you get a shout-out, you may get the T-shirt. So tune in each and every week. It's going to be Kevin Michaela. And that's the guitar tip of the week. We've got a brand new segment coming up as Bria Goss makes her debut on the Matthew Mitchell Show. All season long, the senior will be taking us behind the blue. Hey, Big Blue Nation, I'm Bria Goss, and all season long, I'll be giving you a behind-the-scenes look at all things Kentucky. Up first, the official start to basketball season, Big Blue Madness. There were an estimated 760 tents set up to get the tickets to Madness, and my teammates and I stopped by to take it all in. Well, good morning. No, I'm not here. <laughs> good morning, BBN. I'm here with the other Wildcats of the University of Kentucky, and we are here passing our breakfast to our campers. Go Blue! Yeah. Thank you. I'm here with Kate Campbell with Behind the Blue with Bria. First trivia question of the day would be, what color is our home jersey? White. Oh, what it is. Good job. <laughs> Who is the all-time leading score record holder for the University of Kentucky? Valerie Steele. You know all the history, huh? Good job. Hey guys, I'm here with our newbies, Alyssa Rice, Ivana, Alexis Jennings. We're all here, guys. Please tell me, how many consecutive NCAA tournaments has the women's basketball team went to? Okay. okay. See if they know right. This is going to be intense. All right. We... Wait. What's your name? I'm Alyssa Rice from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Thank you. And we have decided to go with five. Is that your final answer? Final right. answer? That is correct! Good job, guys! Good job! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here with Chelsea. Chelsea, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What dance do you want to see Coach Matthew Mitchell perform? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think you should do Taylor Swift Shake It Off. <laughs> Taylor Swift Shake It Off it is. All right. <laughs> what dance would you like to see Coach Matthew Mitchell do at Big Blue Madness? I, I don't know if he can top Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. Well, that was a pretty good one. What do you think? Uh, 
don't know, James Brown. Let's see. I, I don't know. Can, can we get a little uh, Usher, maybe? Usher? Like the old Just, Usher? Or oh, yeah. New Usher? Yeah, the, the old Usher. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay, well, there you have it. Yeah. The, the old Usher. I'm don't Mitchell. hurt yourself. Try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color? Pink. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Wildcat. Wildcat. And then on three, I want you to say, go cats. One, two, three. Go wildcat. Woo! Hey, guys, we had a great time passing out food to our Big Blue Nation campers. We have the best fans in the nation. Thanks for coming out. Woo! Next week, I'll take you inside of Rupp Arena for all the highlights from Madness. And that, of course, includes Coach Mitchell's performance. Coach and Jenna are kicking off another season of Coach's Kitchen, and they are mid-season form. That's coming up next. Newtown Crossing, the townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Royal Lexington are designed with UK students in mind. Visit LexingtonStudentHousing.com to apply online. Brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. It's the first edition of the eighth season of the Coach's Kitchen. This year, sponsored by McGee's Bakery, my great friends over at McGee's. We love one of our favorite spots in Lexington. Yeah. I'm Coach Mitchell. This is Celebrity Chef and Most Beautiful Woman I Know. Oh my gosh, okay. And yeah. my <laughs> wife, my life, Jenna Mitchell. Jenna, how are you? I'm doing well. Aren't you glad to be back? I am thrilled. For the eighth, can yeah. you believe, Jenna? We, <laughs> this is the eighth season of The Coach's Kitchen. Yes. I mean, no, I can't. I cannot believe it. And all of the it. people who stop us and tell us that they love our cooking show. Yes. And it's really only a segment, but that's the power that you have. You're a powerful woman because you've taken a five-minute segment, and people think that this is a cooking show. And it's really a coach's show. It's called the Matthew Mitchell Show. But you have somehow overtaken that, and they think it's a cooking show. That yeah, is many props to you. Thank you. You're a bona fide celebrity. Thank you. We could maybe just do the whole 30-minute cooking. Well, segment. that's something to think about. If I don't start coaching better, we may have to one day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We may have to have, keep those options open. But talk to us a little bit about what you've learned as a chef uh, over the past year. Uh, what your plans for the eighth season? What are you thinking? What do you think we might do this season? Um, well, with a one-year-old and a three-year-old, I think we should talk about. Oh, sounds like an excuse is about no, I'm to not, come I'm out here. Say anything. Okay, you know I the children are very sweet kids. Our favorite They're rest. joy. Can I talk? They're not you dragging You ask me these stuff. questions, and I always give you one-word answers because you don't let me talk at no. all. Okay. So okay. I was thinking it would be cool um, to talk about our favorite restaurants to get to-go food from. <laughs> not funny. Not funny at all. I was. People are counting okay. on you, Jenna. You don't understand how People important need to know you where are. A good place to get to go food. You're an important person in this community because you're giving them recipes they need. Let's yes. get it kicked off. Eighth season, first recipe. What have we got in the coach's kitchen today? Well, we're starting off with a bang with uh, lemon vinaigrette. Who doesn't need lemon vinaigrette yeah, in their life? Exactly. So tell me. Let me ask this question. In a lemon vinaigrette, would I be safe to say that there is a lemon oh my in the gosh. recipe? Yes. So see, I've been stretching myself as a chef as well, and I am a Hall of Fame chef. And so, tell us about this okay. lemon vinaigrette. So, um... Looks like you've cut okay. a lemon. Yes. So you want to, um, you know, roll the lemon like that so it'll help you get as much of the juice out as possible. You know, possible. we can't really get into real strong detail. Oh, okay, yeah, because these. you Just squeeze the so lemon much. juice in there. Let's go. Okay, the squeeze the lemon juice, and then we're going to add... Looks um, like we've got some agave nectar. Yeah, so just add a pinch some of... Some of the old standbys here in the coach's oh kitchen. Gosh. Weird stuff is still ruling the day. A little bit the more. Coach. Okay, a little more agave that's nectar. That's good, that's good, yeah. 
And um, looks like okay, some we'll do a half olive half. oil, extra virgin olive oil. And All then, um, the celebrity chefs use extra virgin olive oil. Why don't you um, do uh, put some salt and pepper? I'd in be there. happy to. Look at my fancy birthday present from last year. Uh, I can't put the salt in if you don't. Oh my gosh! Lower because it's oh, lower, lower. Here. But that doesn't have the pizzazz that that has. Okay. That has more pizzazz. Like, looks like I'm doing something here. Whoa, whoa, look. Oh my. Okay, Matthew, I have a knife in my What's hand. That? You have a knife? Is that a threat? No, I just wanted Is you to be careful. Is that some sort of a threat? Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're getting the garlic ready to go. Yep, now you smash it to release all the garlic flavors. Okay. And then, uh, do you have a whisk? I you don't, but we're running a little short on time here, oh so gosh. we're going to smash this garlic and we'll be right back with the finishing steps. So now we have all the ingredients in here, and it's time to whisk it up and get our vinaigrette ready to go. Look at that. It's just shaping up so And it's um, so simple. Um, I think once you make homemade vinaigrette, you'll never buy it bottled again. Oh, my gosh. All right. It's time for the moment of truth. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did we start the season off with a bang or what? We did. Flavor explosion! <laughs> if this is what we have in store... This is going to be a great season of the Coach's Kitchen. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. Write into us. Interact with us. We're going to have some fun here on the Coach's Kitchen this year. And what do we want to tell the good folks out there? We'll see you next week. Coming up, three letters you need to remember to help you become a better shooter. B T P. Coach will explain in the tip of the week. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners, Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics, and Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. Coaches Tip of the Week this week, welcome in everybody. It's our first installment this year, and it's the time of the show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I have some terrific sophomores here with me, Michaela Epps. Kyvan Gooden Rogers, Lene Harper, who are going to help us over the next few weeks talk about shooting. The object of the game is putting the ball in the basket, so we got to learn how to do that. It's three letters V, T, P. Remember those, and you'll be ready to hold the ball correctly. First of all, let's find the valve, V for valve on the basketball. It's where they put the air in and we're gonna get our index finger and our shooting hand right on the valve. Let's make sure we do that, ladies. All right, now, T is for the T we're gonna form with our thumbs. We're gonna make our thumbs end up being a T right here. We're gonna form a T with our thumb. That's gonna get our guide hand on the basketball properly. All right, and then P, you don't know what this is. You don't know, because all you ever do is type on the keyboard. You don't write with a number two pencil anymore, but the pencil is important because, look, we want to be able to get the pencil in between our palm and our hand because we don't want the ball down in our palm, all right? We want it on the pads. Let's show them the pads of our hands here, ladies. Right here, that's the pads. That's where the ball's resting. You want some fingertip control, but it's really resting. It can't be down in your palm. So it's very important to get set up to shoot the ball correctly is remember to find the valve, Get a T formed with your thumbs and get that pencil can fit right into your palm where the ball's not down in there. And so we're just going to start with the basics, how to hold the basketball. We'll be back next week with uh, some more instruction on shooting the ball. We're going to talk about layups next week. Thanks so much for joining us. That's the Coach's Tip of the Week. All right, Coach, so you've got a fun trip planned as the team will be spending Thanksgiving in the Virgin Islands. Not bad. We do. We, we uh, have a great trip planned. I've been to the tournament a few times. It's a great, great trip. We'll be playing Illinois, Oklahoma, and South Florida. Three games in three days. It'll be tough. So hopefully we can go down there and be Wildcats and come home with some victories. And you'll have a Thanksgiving dinner. We will. We will. We'll be very thankful for it and uh, thankful for the opportunity to play from Kentucky. Well, best of luck to you, and we'll talk about that trip next week. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was brought to you by Kentucky Utilities, Papa John's, Paul Miller, p Rats. Safe Light Auto Glass, UK Healthcare, and by Window World.